Hello, hello. Ah, there we go. There we go. <coughs> is everything okay? Can you guys hear me now? Is it pretty clear or is it loud? Awesome. Nice. How are you guys doing? Run across this one. This is a really cool Johnny Bravo sketch. I'm thinking, why not sculpt him? Ah, nice. YouTube is fine. So that's the most important one, I guess. I was thinking to make a Johnny Bravo. Just uh, let's see how far I can get today. I'm gonna run across this great concept of art of Alan. You can find him on Instagram. Super cool. Hey everybody. Hi MG. So as, as always, if you have any questions, just type it here or in the comments of YouTube. If I don't see it or don't respond, the guys at PixLogic will pick it up and answer all your questions it will be great if you guys sculpt along with me so i can love to see what you guys are working on okay can you guys also hear the, the music is that not too loud A long day. You bear with me, please. <laughs> and I apologize up front if the, uh, the internet craps out. So you know, let's hope not. Okay, this is Johnny Bravo. I have a really cool sketch of him. Of course, everybody knows him. <laughs> Since the gyms are opening today, finally here in Holland. My nice tribute thing to Mr. Johnny Bravo. Uh -huh. I'm just starting to pull some shapes and see. Get in the groove, some muscle memory in. Everything is still clear. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. So let's see how, how we can turn this into 3D. <laughs> Johnny Parfosti. <laughs> Should make, we bring him back to the cartoons. Want to show my kids him? Let's start with the hips. Just start sculpting and we see where we're going. If you guys have any questions, the technique I'm going to use is uh, blocking him in with uh, basic shapes. The, the way I learned from uh, great Shane Olsen, who's also a streamer here. Been a lot of doing a lot of realistic characters lately, so. Fine. Make proof back. I need to clean my walk. It's really sticky. Oh, I hate this music.
that's a really small waste of course. No, this is the, the, the full uh, Zebras version indeed. Hardly. But like, I think, yeah, no, you cannot use multiple subtools in the core mini, I think. Oh, that's a shame. But still, I think you can make Johnny Bravo in Zebras core. Guys, sculpting something today. I'm just chilling. Yeah, I go to try to make everything into a zebras. Oh, this is belly. Let's just. Oh, I have to change this music. This. Hell yeah, <laughs> hell yeah, lucky I, uh, I was one of the first in Shane Olsen's uh, class and I really loved that workflow to create a, a block in and a character. It's really, I'm also using it for uh, my realistic stuff, client jobs, just a nice way to block in something fast. Shane is just the best, one of the best teachers in the game. Yeah, just when I start a character or something, I block in the shapes using uh, this technique. Just bear with me a bit, been a while. <laughs> Been making uh, shoes lately for client stuff. Realistic shoes. Mm -hmm. Since the corona, everything is going to be digital. Uh, I have a Cintiq. Hardy. But sometimes a Cintiq can be annoying if your hand is over stuff. But yeah, I'm used to the Cintiq now. So. And local symmetry. Symmetry. Yeah, I do want to buy a new tablet to go with the Cintiq. Sometimes I'm just too lazy to get the Cintiq in front of me. <laughs> the goal for this one is I want to 
3D printed my new printer. Shape, shame made this great, cool looking bandage. He calls it. I think you can get this uh, his brushes for free still on his site, 3dcharacterworkshop.com. Really re recommend that one. already a bit so how's the corona in your guys countries your Netherlands is finally going down it seems Things are opening up finally. We went to the gym this morning for the first time in seven months. I was so happy, like, kid, to finally do something again. You guys have any questions to shoot show it out i'm not a really big talker so you have to get me going a bit In, uh, in the Shane Olsen class, you're also doing a sort of exercise that you're only creating character blockouts, and it's super fun to do. I really can really recommend that. Just do one a day and you get really fast and good at it. So shoulders a bit. Oops, working on the wrong side. Am I still good on the channels? I'm so afraid that my connection will get lost again. I'm in this big building and the internet was really good at the beginning. Then I was all alone, and now there are a lot of big <laughs> cow. Yeah, it looked like cow a bit. Cow, a steer, of course. Johnny, Johnny B. Yeah, this guy, the guy that grew out this one, is so good. He has so many cool concepts. And ideas. Oh, his hips are turning out really weird. Hey. Let's get the proportions a bit better. Oh, see him way off. <laughs> side a bit
just globally. You know. Hell yeah, yeah, Johnny has been training. <laughs> it's one buff Johnny Bravo for someone. It says. But he's still skipping leg day. <laughs> Sometimes I like to do this work on the front view and then alter it later again in the other views. See, you know, it's really flat here. Just getting some globally global volume in here. Worry about details. Good yeah. avond. That's my native language. What? You're not, not from the USA? No, I'm from Holland. <laughs> no, it's really flat now. Let's pull some shapes out. Make a lot buffer. Uh, sometimes it is hardy. Yeah, I think so. And if you make a new uh, new object, it automatically gets a new color. In the beginning, it's a really cool thing to, to do. already a bit too much concerning about detailing instead of having fun <laughs> just points maybe smart to do a C remess Do you guys also hear that music or not? If it's too loud, can you please let me know? So, so fun to create a character like this. Just 
Yeah, this dummy is slightly smaller. This is his chest. Yeah, this is better. This is what I was looking for. <laughs> Let's rematch this because it's really low now. Do a receiver message. I always like to do auto groups again, so I have the poly groups back and a mirror and weld to get it the symmetry again. <laughs> oh, I really love this drawing. If you guys can want to see more of this kind of drawings, you can see it on Art of Ellen. Instagram. He also really has a really cool He-Man and a Skeletor. Skeletor. It's also perfect. I think somebody else created it already in a 3D. It's so good. And he's also working on the Hulk Hogan now. Not doing it exactly. But Is the stream still going fine? So I'm afraid that I'm losing my connection again. out a bit too far because he also gets a chest on top of it of course smooth it a bit guys any questions yeah it's Johnny B Wondering if you can make a cartoon like Johnny Bravo still in this age. He wasn't really that nice to the ladies, of course. Yeah. Who doesn't love Johnny Bravo? Yes, he needs a neck, but you don't really see it. <laughs> Guys, also making the uh, Johnny Bravo sounds in your head. <laughs> Just plugging in. most frequently use brushes yeah that's pretty much if you open the zebra score mini this are those brushes just the move uh, clay build up and a pinch and damn standard brush 
person or she was the guest. And some uh, brushes uh, from that I got from Shane Olsen. Remind me, I, I will search for the link and post it. So, so the brushes you can see down here, feels pretty cool. That's stupid. Yeah. Can I change that? There you go. Yeah, and also for realistic, I also use them in the realistic stuff. Some, them. not all of the brushes. You can see them down here. Check if he updates them, maybe. Get all the new Seabrush stuff going on. really correct at the moment horses but we will get there eventually or not sometimes you just get stuck in the valley of the suck like uh, well, what's the guy's name again Ryan Kingsley always says valley of the suck it's a nice square head of course Eventually, who would look like him? You guys had a good day today. Yeah, right. Right, Admiral Supernova. Bring back the nostalgic. Like we uh, just back there. 
it's not really a cartoon you can make nowadays. <laughs> He's super buff now. Yeah, let's get the proportions better later. Snowflakes. <laughs> Jet, they have a point on some things. But what do I know? guy who I used to train with to call it the chest muscles gladiator discs <laughs> bigger sometimes you can spend a very long time just playing with shapes sculpting something always curious what people make yeah you should always uh, always call the artist out do you mean mine and my art mr. Hardy having too much fun just blocking in these shapes you can see the shapes forming to sort of muscle groups I might go off the concept a bit and make them a bit crazier bigger I even I'm not sure yet might do a long stream I don't know I really really want to get this done uh, sometimes yeah I'm on uh, maybe for shapes and just a quick quick block in for a character like this you can also do for realistic for sure might might do that the next stream Let's get my 
anatomy character just a bit I always carry this around even for a stylistic just to check the muscles a bit a little bit of course for stylistic you can go crazy and but it's always a little bit of anatomy that has to be right even for stylistic I think Get the size of his head a bit better. Strong me off a bit. This is the size of the body. Hello. Oops. for keeping an unbelievable yet interesting stylist yeah it really depends on the character i guess but uh, i really like uh, what they did with the infinity characters also there for shane olsen of course i do have one here sample this one i sculpted oh, you cannot see it there i think on the webcam it's also a little bit square, squares and hard edges on the uh, muscle groups. It's maybe a nice idea, uh, nice look for stylistic 3D characters, I think. Just hard edges. Sometimes you get some this kind of stuff. If you mirror and weld. Yes, if you have this kind of big chest muscles, your pecs, your, your chin will touch them. <laughs>
Oh, I don't know what you're saying there. It's Russian, I think. Hey guys, playing some cool games lately. I'm searching for some games to chill and relax with. I've been stuck on Heroes of the Storm for so long now. It's fun. Time for something new. <laughs> yeah, I know I shouldn't play games in Skullmore. Sometimes. <laughs> Remembers Johnny Bravo had a sort of friend, right? That was a kid. Yeah, video count number two <laughs> for sure. The art is great, it's great art. Always, also, always Bliss, it's just awesome. I'm a Bliss fanboy. <laughs> A girl, yeah. She had, was a good, he had sort of childhood friend. It was a girl. That was right. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Video count. I'm starting to like the shapes that are forming here. Back in the day there was this bodybuilder, German bodybuilder called Marcus Rule. That kind of looks like this, I guess. Super pumped. <laughs> yeah, what, uh, Mayfrog designs. When do I set, decide to dynamize the whole mess? Yeah, that's always a tricky part. <laughs> this one I'm already sculpting a bit in Poe, so I guess when I really start to go into detailing. Uh, I have uh, a tablet, a vacuum tablet. Hey, Mr. Sensor, what are you doing? Anyway, the Jesus, yeah, for <laughs> like your name for the, today. Hopefully, I get it finished quite. That's my goal, but not sure how long my internet will hold up. But and when it's finished, I want to print him my, uh, my printer here. I finally bought a racing printer to play with. It's an uh, Elegoo Mars Pro 2, so not a big one, just a tiny one to play with. Just 
for Pezius, I guess. Just throwing some fancy names at you guys now. <laughs> Sorry, cannot help myself. My inner Johnny is wants to come out. <laughs> Basically, pretend that you're a muscled Elvis, right? No shapes going on. I really love his shapes. The way how this guy's drawing his characters is so nice. Figure out where the elbow is going. Just out here. It's a bit hard to see, of course, without the side view, how his head is in here. Yes, it will, will be sticking out a little bit. His neck. That's a good one. We are allowed to, to post our stuff and promote our channels, by the way. That's uh, no problem. The guys, speech logic. We really don't say what we can and can do. But yeah, if you want to follow me or something or check out my art, just search my name and you'll find it yes everything is in need of a big update but who has time to update the portfolio nowadays are you guys working in the industry or students or just curious hobbyist artists my goal was always to become a freelancer and earn my living with using zebras. And that's what I'm doing at the moment. Uh. <laughs> Thanks, IR Sculpts. Uh, IR, see, that is also from something, right? IR Baboon. Also, one of those cartoons. <laughs> uh, find, do I find it challenging to sculpt from concept without a three quarter view? Yeah, sometimes it is, but most of the time I rather have a three quarter view of a character than just a front view. Student, nice. Sometimes I wish I was a student again. Shoulder some roundness. So, if you ever wondered what the bold Johnny Bravo looked like, it's like this. <laughs> Leganto, that's nice. 
Anything we can see already? Or did you work on any movies that are you can check out? Thanks, S7. Yeah, my art station, it, it's so outdated, but yeah. Lots of NDA stuff going on. Did some work for a children's movie that should be coming out this year. Hopefully, I can show you guys one day what I did for that. in this kind of proportions oh yeah it's a it's a dutch movie though it's it's called twee kleine kleutertje so it's two little children i guess it's a uh, really 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 young kids but the style was amazing fun to work on super cartoony Who has seen Mortal Kombat, the movie? Thanks guys. Uh, what's my most memorable... Sorry, my English isn't that good. Memorable experience in 3D modeling career. Um, I think the first time I got sent a statue that I sculpted. And we really see something I created and couldn't hold it. That was so cool. And when I worked on the uh, on the Lara Croft game, it was also really cool. The Tomb Raider. best thing if you're still in this stage you can just mess around these kind of sculpts are really fun to create just to wind down from a hard day of client work <laughs> Kind of getting the pose in, kind of, not perfectly yet, because before you know it you're spending hours on detailing, it's not needed yet. Hey Mohammed, I got, I think he's probably lying. I don't know what, what you're saying, speak erratic unfortunately. Um, no, uh, anyway, geez, yeah, I also work in Maya, uh, 3ds Max, Cinema 4D, Blender, etc, etc. Um, I'm mostly involved in the uh, modeling and texturing part, also the UVing. And when the real stress starts, like the, uh, for animation, <laughs> I'm long gone working on something fun again. <laughs> I have a basic understanding of, uh, of rigging. Yeah. 
I really like modeling. But when you see something animated that you create, wow, it's just crazy when it moves. I wish I had a background in traditional sculpting. I tried it one day, but yeah, it was no success. I still want to try it again. I think it can, the combination can be really good. I first started in uh, architectural visualization. And it was okay, it was fun to do, but when you create, again, the same sort of housing for the same architect, yeah really creative at least here in Holland the houses are almost almost all the same and I always wanted to create characters and maybe work from games or movies so I teach myself that there wasn't when I wanted to do it there wasn't really a what's it called an education for it so it was a lot of asking people how they do it what they do yeah, he has a big rib cage Any general advice for a beginner intimate skill set looking to sculpt with his characters? Um, yeah, just sculpt and watch, uh, really study photos of people. There's tons of videos on YouTube on sculpting realistic faces and characters. Uh, this kind of stuff always helps. Create total, and you can get them everywhere. It's really cool study books just study books and post a lot ask a lot the community is really helpful Not sometimes it's bitter but most of the time people are really helpful and in the Seabirds community I find people are so nice always this view it's something still a bit wrong we'll figure it out later don't get stuck on this is too long it's also something I like to do with this kind of characters some hard lines Pinch it all together. Still streaming, guys. This is still all on. It's pretty late here now, so I'm the only one in the office. Pretty scary. <laughs> no, it's not scary at all. It's a small office. Awesome. 
Ah, it's a shame that we don't have the legs, of course. Take some creative freedom. spending a bit too much time for a block out but I just enjoyed too much this face it's inflated a bit Thanks, man. Yeah, the penguin. It's also a really fun piece of sculpt. Wanted to, yeah, wanted to keep it close to the real penguin of the movies. What's the, what's the extra called again? Hmm. Going a blank today. Danny DeVito, that was him. Such a cool movie. Danny DeVito, I'm really into a, a nostalgic roller coaster at the moment. I was at uh, Ace Ventura yesterday. Man. I don't know why, but I love. I love that kind of movies. Just getting back to the old fun days, right? <laughs> when comedy was comedy. <laughs> Edwin, yeah. I'm also planning to, of course, rewatch Back to the Future. You just have to, sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Well, also one of those movies. Not sure you can make those in this day of age. Guess not. If, uh, if I wanted to do this in all subtools, I just have it's harder to just. That's well, not really harder. You can do it, but it was just easier to set up, I guess. With this brush, just, just put something here. It's right, right under in their own body group. No, it's not the same as a pen. Then, if you append something, it it will be a subtool. This is more an uh, insert mess, an IMM brush from Shane. It just has some basic shapes in there. So 
so what kind of movies are you also going to rewatch? What kind of 80s movies? Hey Mohammed. I asked Scott, oh yeah, I was one of the first that took the course. It changed my life. Before that I only did uh, realistic stuff and I forgot how to basically how to make cartoony stuff with the help of Shane's uh, course got back to into it Jack Carver, yeah the sculptors pro I'm starting to use them more and more but yeah, you can do the same with Tyna Bass, etc. But I still have to get used to it to somehow uh, get it in my workflow. Also the thing with anatomy is that sometimes you get stuck on it. You guys also have that? that you just just turning around your model, watching an arm for instance, just keep on changing it. That's something I got really stuck on. <laughs> I love it. I guess this is my summer goal. Just my summer buddy. <laughs> Let's make it way smaller. <laughs> this is Johnny Bravo now, he ke kept on training. Yeah, that's a good good tip, uh, take Diganto. Always keep a stack of anatomy ref and some pure ref on the side. Yeah. Hey, Blender tutorial. <laughs> yeah. The the gyms are just opening here again in Holland, and I just happened to run on Instagram on this great, awesome sketch of Johnny Bravo, and I was I was thinking, why not celebrate it by sculpting Johnny Bravo? Another shout out of, for the guy who drew drew it. Search him on Instagram, Art of Alan. His, 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 his drawings are amazing. I think he also sells art books. Might get one. Have to support each other, of course. Cool, cool, cool. Thanks. At the yeah, Nederland. <laughs> Holland. I see Swiss also works great. But uh, this way I can alter the shapes right away. I like that. But yeah. Uh, using G Swiss is also pretty cool together concept out 
quick base to work on. Something on the side view that isn't right yet. The shoulders there. Yeah. One million. One million? <laughs> yeah, I think so too. When I first start using it, and watching Shane's tips and tricks on it, how to use it, and it's just a game changer for me. Changing the music, it's a really sad song now, I hate sad songs. There we go. If you guys have any questions, just shoot by the way. <laughs> yeah. Hello, would it be okay to send email asking to work as a volunteer for a company that didn't have that or similar written anywhere? Uh, you mean for a game company or something as volunteer? Maybe you can better than like an internship, I guess, for a company. Yeah, we we'll go for an internship, then. but don't don't work for free, man. Create your own art for free. Drum and bass. Yeah, that's a good one, Hardy. I have no idea. S7. How long? Yeah. I'm not sure. Maybe a day totally. I just. Yeah. Yeah, a day. I guess for printing, maybe. Yeah, if, if it has to be uh, for a game and has new, uh, good topology, etc. longer of course the working professional for complex is to gain experience yeah I, I do a remess maybe I do it right now <laughs> maybe just adding some parts um yeah in experience. Hey Louis. 
Luis. <laughs> I'm from Mexico City. Man, I wish I was in Mexico City. I hate it here. <laughs> Yeah, get yourself out there. They say in the right, right companies. Try to know people that work at certain companies. In this business, is it's networking is key. I have my experiences. It's, it's always really fun. To talk with all the artists, famous or not, they're all open and happy to share or help you most of the time. But most artists won't like it when you just ask uh, if they have a job for you or something. But if you have questions about maybe a scope you're working on, my experience, everybody is really helpful for just to give you feedback or. I think there's even a guy on the Seabirds live streams that gives live feedback on work if you want. And also uh, Spicer also streams. So he's a good teacher also. Great anatomy knowledge. I made several uh, spawn uh, models. If you mean the first one, that was a long time. It was my, really my first, first ever try to make something like that. And it got picked up and made into a statue even. My very first collectible statue. Isn't spawn the best? <laughs> AA cube, yeah. Johnny B. Which brush did you use to insert mess the spheres? Yeah, this this one, IMM. It's from Shane Olson. You can find it on his uh, his site, 3 dcatorworkshopcom And he used to give it for free, so I think it's still on there. Along with another, a lot of other great brushes. Oh, mama! <laughs> yeah, that's right, wicked noise. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a while that I had so much fun just blocking in stuff. Again, if you're really searching for a good workshop or stylistic stuff, go to Shane's uh, site, Shane Olsen. And he also streams a lot here on the Pixelogix live stream. So he's the real master. Messing around now. Uh, thanks, Fabrizio. I'm doing my best. Just searching for a Johnny Bravo picture. I think he has really tiny legs, right? right? Oh, 
Oh yeah, really tiny legs. <laughs> oh, awesome, man. And if you can, always shout them out. Give credit where credit is due. <laughs> Traps a little bit different. That's the hard thing to create a 3D character from just to do 2D sketch. Some parts doesn't really work really well. Yes, his head needs to locked up. Be locked up there. Thanks, man. It's camera, yeah. <laughs> it's so fun to create just this kind of face meshes. Even if they are just shapes, you can really see the definition of the muscles, the groups. If the, the print will work, I might contact the, the guy who drew, drew this one and send him a print as well, always, if he wants. afraid to start on his legs because there's no it looks like he's wearing some sort of swim trunks he's going to slap on the hair first just to get something on him <laughs> Done. There we go. He kind of has one of those Guido ca haircuts, I guess. have to watch some Johnny Bravo with my kid tomorrow. I really want to finish this today as well. Let me check if somebody else is streaming today. Weird. 
Oh, and I think not. I think I'm the only one today, so I can keep on going. Let's see how long I can go. I might get some coffee later on. Hey, Mrs. Sanson. I'm streaming. <laughs> Shane Olsen. He's also streaming on uh, Super's Live here. And Spicer. I guess I like everybody who's streaming. I need to watch and sculpt more. get those nips in right Yeah, I'm liking it. Point. This chest. safe <laughs> See, just on the desktop everything cools goes right who, who else has a folder on his desktop with lots of projects that needs to be finished one day legs and the cartoon not sure though is the stream still going guys I do have a Swiss a twist channel, but I really have to find that again and get it live. I do want to stream a lot more, interact with you guys. Like I said on last streams, it would be so cool to just sculpt with somebody 
with a lot of other guys maybe jump in a sort of Skype call or a Google Hangout room and stream that. This is called with 10 other guys and girls. some glutes something I can remember from the cartoon just a tiny but big butt if it makes sense right be wearing a swimming trunks of course hey <laughs> old and, all, and only yeah it is Johnny B fun it's really I'm really amazed that the internet is still going awesome finally I can sculpt again with you guys see a lot of cool concepts like this Johnny Bravo check out art of Alan on Instagram it's really cool first was planning to do on the Louis Skeletor but that was already been done to have just locking in still the most fun part of sculpting locking in shapes playing with shapes playing with clay
Oh, yeah, deep. it could also be my internet. Maybe. The stream is much clearer on Twitch, apparently. Maybe compression, maybe my internet, maybe, yeah. Maybe it's YouTube, I don't know. Do you guys hear the music or is it just uh, there's some metal on now? Not everybody can likes that, I guess. Are you guys also a bit afraid to cough in public nowadays? <laughs> Just giving him some ears. Or sneeze. <laughs> oh yeah, the Doom Eternal soundtracks. Yeah, for sure. We just play them this day, I guess, in the in the, in my car. The Doom Slayer. Amazing. Yeah, somehow metal always calms me down. <laughs> Just want to give him a bigger chin. Yeah, I think so. There was sort of documentary on on it, right? They called him the Doom Slayer. <laughs>
So what do you guys think this year? Will there be a, a Cyber Summit again? A normal one? Really hope so. Well, no, I'm, I'm using a, a Wacom Cintiq. Uh, here. Got it mounted on one of those uh, monitor monitor arms. It's getting there. Thanks, DiMarco. Yeah, blockouts are the best thing to make. Said it multiple times already, but yeah, it's so fun. Sniffers. Just, just want his his face really be smushed into the muscles a bit more, I guess. He's getting these shoulders and the traps in there more. Like he's almost choking on on his own muscles. <laughs> and no, he cannot turn his head. <laughs> Here, like it's more rounder. This profile yeah. Hey Alexander, I think that's Russian, right? Oh, Marco, that's awesome. Yeah, just sculpt, man, sculpt a lot. Post a lot. Show everybody what you're doing and creating. Don't do it for the likes, just try to get some feedback and tips and tricks. Let's quickly make his glasses. And save. Yeah. Join Facebook groups. Post. Show you stuff. Show you work in progress. random music player in the background and went from metal to some sort of love songs oh yeah the zebras layout is crazy at the beginning I hear a lot of people just saying I'm opening zebras and I'm closing it again <laughs> but it's really handy and 
works great when you get the hang of it. Oh, we really got this little snow. No. I didn't want to test. Did you guys take a COVID test? <laughs> Seven faces to the Bravo. <laughs> And why, yeah, open smodeling program, close smodeling program, yeah, and then open a game in play. <laughs> That's what I sometimes do. It's wrong with your kids, you play too much. Where's it from? I'm loving those muscles. Play it a bit more. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Bring it down a bit. Yeah, there we go. Now my nose is itching. That's awesome, man. What game were you playing? Yeah, what, what Digento Jordi is saying, there's a nice intro to Zebra series on YouTube, Michael Pavlovich. He's also streaming. <laughs> he really knows a lot about Zebra's tips and tricks and Really good stuff. Check him out. Fortnite. <laughs> I never got into Fortnite. Yeah, I don't know. Been playing a lot of Mortal Kombat lately on the PlayStation. It's fun. Zombies. Yeah, Fort Fortnite has some cool models. That's true. That's why I play games for the inspiration, of course. Assassin's Creed is also good, yeah. What do you guys think? Legs too small or just right? Thanks, Samwa. Yeah, it can go pretty quick, but I'm a bit tired of today, so just also try going to try to get it done quick, but also just having fun. Relax a bit. Oh, 
I played the older Resident Evil games. Village, is it good? I've heard mixed things about it. As long as it's scary, I'm in. I lost horror games, horror movies. Don't like the shapes here. X, X, X. Yeah, Zebras is the best. I lost Zebras. Oops. Getting those shoulders higher and higher. Thanks, Hardy. Oh, the day one looked good, yeah. I haven't played the day one yet. It's the story is not good, I heard, but yeah. Who plays games for the stories? <laughs> yeah, I guess some people do. Most people do. I'm an old school gamer, I like just. Quick and fast games. With a lot of action, hack and slash stuff. Those are my games. And of course back in the day, I was really into the uh, World of Warcraft. Man. World of Warcraft. CT fan, I'm the artist. Covid sucks. I got laid. Oh no, man, you got laid out. That sucks. Yeah, sometimes being an artist is hard. It's hard. I'm going to do do something stupid. What kind of stupid? <laughs> when did you get laid off? Just just now or? This sucks, man. Really interesting lane to get in now with 3D is fashion. Just a tip. In the post, but moves back and forth. <laughs> I think when you do this, this moves forward. Oh man, was the famous country or uh, famous company or sort of hit it, man? It sucks. Man. 
don't give up on the arts. Must just go. It's a bit believable. Yeah, maybe a small break. That's good. Just do. Remember guys, you can also post your questions in the, uh, the YouTube channel, in the comment section, and uh, Paul or Kyle or any other Zebras employee will pick it up, the questions, if I cannot answer them. So uh, don't do stupid things, go take a break and have some fun, try to relax. It's easy to say of course. If you <laughs> yeah, that's true. Would you maybe have advice on having a very competitive colleague? Ooh. In what way? Is he really trying to out sculpt you or something or Yeah, I've thought of going freelance and try to get some gigs in. Try some salsa music that I have on now. This makes me happy. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Yeah. I haven't had colleagues for, I think, almost 10, 11 years now since I'm freelance. I love it. Sometimes I, I work on location and have to deal with other people, but most of the time I'm in this little office space I have here. This goes. Here's one some may be wondering. I see you have several private commissions on your Instagram and I'm wondering how you get most of your commissions for collectibles. And how long do commissions usually take to complete? Uh, yeah. I just rolled into it, to be honest. I just sculpted the spawn. And that got so much attraction that just people contact you on Facebook and ask, can you sculpt this for me, please? And yeah, so on and so on. Freelance is hard, man. Yeah, freelance is hard. It's who you know in the, in the freelance game, I guess. Yeah. Well, it's getting a bit too late now. <laughs> this is it when you're having fun, right? In, in ski zebras, you lost track of time. Man, 
now some sort of Eurovision Song Festival music going on now. Horrible. Well, it's okay, CT fan. Maybe it's better to stay and just talk around. You don't mind like people. Usually a block out will take me uh, around an hour, but I don't know, just, just moving too slow now, too slow, yeah, you can never rush fun stuff, just having too much fun blocking this one out. Yeah, maybe post your... Uh, your art station or something in here and get it under the people people love to see art and maybe get some connections going you never know you never know who's watching blizzard are you watching me disney are you there Some boy band stuff going on now on the, on the music channel. <laughs> Man. And our Johnny Brown. That's also a good one. Watch some uh, Johnny Bravo cartoons that may, uh, may brighten your day a bit. Or the Post Warcraft 3. Oh yeah, I played, played it for so many hours. Warcraft 3. This always cracks up people that have uh, English for their native language. I cannot say one, two, three. The, the tree always sounds like a thing that's in the forest. <laughs> I got so much shit about that. Excuse my language, by the way. It's, it's late, so. Some words may be flying out. Yeah, tree, trees. Oh, cool. That's that's. I'm just Jamaican then. <laughs> that that will be my excuse. Awesome. So, you, are you from Jamaican then? Then to break. Hey Jessica Nunez, how are you doing? <laughs> tree tree, yeah, <laughs> tree tree, tree tree. <laughs> hmm. 
nine or for nine. Seabirds <laughs> is daunting, but it is so much fun. Just, just give it a try. Come to the dark side. So what else is a good 90s or 80s cartoon? Like Johnny Bravo, what, what else did you have? I remember there was something with cow and chicken, I think. That was fun too. Yeah, for sure, it's, uh, it's really fun to do. Uh, can you do multiple subtools in Zebra Score? I don't know. Dexter, yeah, for sure, Dexter's lab. Uh, mental work, yeah, for sure. I think it's a bit the same as drawing. You see all those drawing tutorials, people break their drawing into those spheres and cylinders, and I guess it's, a, it's the same. Yeah, for sure. Captain Planet, wow. Oh yeah, they can bring that back nowadays. Captain Planet. Oh, forgot about that one. My son was watching uh, the new Thundercats lately. What happened with that? Man. Magic school. Are you guys good at drawing? I wish I was really good at drawing. That's another thing. Can I see? Cannot say drawing. Drawing. Sound like a toddler. <laughs> Wowing. There was also something with mice on, on bikes. I can remember that. What's it called again? Uh. Bike and mice from Mars. Yeah. That was it. And of course the turtles. Don't forget about He-Man. Oh, He-Man. Back of Mice from Mars. Yeah, Shelly. Those were the cartoons. And the Maniacs. Those are 
This is too work, too, too. I think they are bringing those back, right? And the maniacs seen as something. Oh, and also Bees and Butthead is coming back. Thundercats, yeah. Man, bringing back so many memories now. And the samurai pizza cats, of course. Samurai pizza cats. Transformers. Yeah. Ooh, well, this is starting to be a pretty detailed lockout. <laughs> not done any work for Sideshow yet. I hope one day to get notes by one of the big ones. It'll be so much fun to work for those. Just have to get myself out there again a bit, a bit slacking on social media. Stupid Corona. Got me down a bit. Disney is also fun. Do any Pacific Disney cartoon you like? With motion, hope Corona will be less not to be bad. Yeah, for sure. I just don't know any anymore what to believe. Was the bet? Was it not a bet? So crazy. Was it intentional? Was it so many conspiracies?
what I'm doing. <laughs> It's the most exciting of spirits that have a second sun. I know that. Yeah, dude, no problem, man. And if you have any more, just post in the channel. Hit me up everywhere. I'm behind the computer almost every day, so. Things the hard way now. Ah, yeah, let's look like this. <laughs> Why isn't it mirroring production? Thanks man, do my best just getting into the groove again. I'm not sure I'm going to finish Johnny today, but I'll certainly finish him within this week. Might be recording the rest. Maybe set up my own Twitch channel again. Let's do just like this. And get it. I don't know what I'm doing at the moment. <laughs> it could be really fast and easy to create the glasses, but hey, what's the fun in that? Aha. Just too tired at the moment. Thanks, man. Do you guys like seeing the cartoony stuff? Are you also interested in uh, maybe a realistic sculpt one day? I can plan it. organize a party. That's true. Oh cool man. 
Yeah, both are cool. Let's first get this one finished and printed. What kind of clothing do you make, uh, Jessica? Is it also in uh, all in zebras, or do you also work in marvelous? a bit longer than usual by the way it's Shelly but just having fun and watching chat my zebras and such as paint on Mars cool just, um, just really curious I want to dive into Marvel's designer one day yeah clothing and fashion is really getting bigger nowadays digital with the corona going on. <laughs> well, we can switch then. Marv design is my weakness. <laughs> Any questions, just ask uh, Jessica. Just ask, contact us on the socials. Yeah, Clo 3D, yeah. The company I do a lot of work for also does stuff in Clo 3D. Yeah, it's going to be a cool print. to grab some clothing just make the swimming shorts oh, some sort of pocket what is that make super scratch now there
Masking a quick block out for the trousers and extracting them from a mask. And we'll make this legs thinner next time, I think. Let's look to create some thickness to play with. new one let me strip first strip there we go So who is going to watch some Johnny Bravo tomorrow? <laughs> By the way, if you guys have any tips or comments make the stream better let me know because I'm really pretty new to this stuff so I want to keep it interesting for you guys Just 
this. Won't stay for going. Well, guys, I'm afraid I have to call it quits to now. I will continue this character and I will make sure we record it or stream it. So you guys can uh, enjoy it. Ooh, uh, posting work in progress sculpts and art station. I don't know. Most of people use art station now, so it's some sort of portfolio site, I guess. And maybe the best way to get some feedback is on Facebook or Zebra Central, of course. That's maybe a better place to post work in progress shots to get some feedback going. <laughs> Thanks, man, doing my best. <laughs> yeah, he will be. Cannot wait to finish this one. I'm really enjoying this. Spent too much time on blocking, but hey, who cares? Had fun. <laughs> yeah, what Jill Janusi says. It's good to post scripts as a separate post. Still want to make him a bit bigger here, so he's choking a bit. It's just too big, and this can be. Pulled up more. Oh. Just trying something pretty quick. Yeah, that's good shape already. guys see you guys later and thanks for watching remember post like subscribe etc etc get it going later guys